By the way, you kind of glossed over the very beginning of this. The very, very oh, beginning God. is Vince McMahon, and he's got a cell phone in his hand, and he's going, hey, Roddy, it's warm down there, huh? Implying that Roddy Piper is in hell. Yes. Vince pretends to get a phone call from Roddy Piper. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. And he's talking to Roddy, insinuating that he is in hell. Yeah. Yes. And he's insinuating that uh, Roddy has asked him, are you on your way? And he says, not yet. Yes, he's saving a spot for Vince. He's saving a spot. And then Vince hangs up the phone and says, well, Roddy's not actually in hell. He's in heaven. And then we just move on with the show. I was like, so what weird. in the fuck was that? Well, to be fair, the next hour is devoted to how this is the baddest bad guy in wrestling. I mean, the story yeah, does end with Hulk Hogan claiming that Roddy Piper called him from beyond the grave. Yeah, so I guess happened. it did go full circle. That's yeah, true, but true. That was bizarre. So he goes to New York, and Vince notes he's, especially in WWF in the mid 80s, he's not the biggest guy in the world, but Danny can talk. So they give him a talk show, they give him Piper's Pit, and everything goes very well. They show a bunch of Piper's clip, Piper's Pit clips. They're all awesome. My favorite one of these, he's confronting Andre and insulting Andre. I can slam you. He says, forget Johnson, I can do it myself. And Andre jumps up and grabs him by the lapels and lifts him up with one arm. And I watch this over and over, and I'm like 90% sure this is like perfectly done where he lifted Piper up and Piper jumped up and like put one leg on the chair. Sure. <laughs> but regardless, it looks like the giant is holding Piper up at arm's length. It was an awesome, awesome visual. And, of course, the Jimmy Snooker clip. Vince claims that one of the coconuts was, as we put it, gimmicked. But Piper did not use the gimmicked coconut. Uh -huh. That's what he claims. And, of course, this leads into Cindy Lauper. So I, I know no one cares about the WWE God. Hall of Fame, but she's in there, right? No! Yes. yes, she is. No, she's not! The WWE Hall of Fame? No! Really? I'm looking at this. Look it up right now. I'm wow. doing it. So they do the angle where Albano had been in her video, and so she goes to present him with the gold record she got, and Piper interrupts. He breaks the gold record over Albano's head, and as, <laughs> as Cindy Lauper goes to check on Captain Lou, Roddy places the, the, the top of his foot, places that like against her head, and gently shoves her away. And they talk about this kick. Like, it's Morton Anderson at his peak. Like, he's like, he just drilled her, and they can't believe how she was able to kick her and make it look good and not hurt her. <laughs> well, I think most people could do that. So he explained, there's a line here where he talks about all the fights he was getting into because fans hated him so much. I was fighting in and out of Denny's, he says. Yeah. And I thought, who, who hasn't come to blows over moons over Miami once or twice? There's a few clips from the MTV promos they did, some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. These are all on YouTube, and actually, they're all worth watching. They're all, they're all fun. So then they get into this WrestleMania 1. And well, I'm, there's the war to settle the score first. Well, there's the war to settle the score. But the point of all of this is they talk about how Mr. T gets involved, Cindy Lauper, and, of course, Hulk Hogan, and Orton, and Orndorf, Orndorf the whole Who, crew. 2021, Hogan can't say Orndorf. And so they're horned off. They're telling this fucking story, okay? That Roddy Piper like literally this is the story they're telling. Roddy Piper didn't like Mr. T because Mr. T had never done anything and was going to be in the main event of WrestleMania. Mr. T then has to explain that he couldn't figure out why Roddy Piper didn't understand that him coming in as a big celebrity was good for all of them. And I'm thinking, you want me to believe that Mr. T understood how pro wrestling worked, but Roddy Piper didn't? What? So they say that, oh, you know, Roddy, Mr. T is afraid that Roddy and, uh, and actually to a degree he was afraid that they might do something to him, but of course they did not because it's, you know, a work. And it was just the way they told the story. And then Hulk's going, ah, oh, you know, uh, Roddy should have done the job for me in that match. Like if he'd done, if he'd done the job for me, he would have made so much money. Mm-hmm. 
I'm like, what in God's fucking name are you talking about? Who in their right mind would have had Roddy Piper do a job in that match? Which, by the way, Roddy Piper was never going to do the job in that match. And number two, why would Roddy doing the job in that match have led to him making more money? Yeah, the I don't know. only thing that I could figure, okay, the only thing that I could figure is that somehow when they were editing this together, they they like conflated some stories, okay? Maybe what Hogan was saying was that because Roddy would never do a job for me ever, at least in WWF, he did when they were in WCW, maybe Hogan was saying because he would never do a job for me, we therefore could never have headlined a WrestleMania. Like WrestleMania 2, for example. It was Hulk Hogan versus Bundy. Like, imagine if it were Hulk Hogan versus Roddy Piper in a singles match. Like, that would have done gigantic business, and, and Roddy Piper would have made a lot of money. So maybe that's what Hogan was talking about when he said that I said you should have lost to me, and he said, ah, blah, 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 blah. And he wasn't actually talking about WrestleMania 1, but the way they edited everything together, it sounded like Hogan was saying he should have done the job for him at WrestleMania 1. Yeah, they have settled that, and uh, again, it goes back to the the, the uh, what you're talking about. How it's the same Vincent Man who talks about how things worked back then, and doesn't do anything close to that now. Hogan is here talking about how as the finish of the big show, there should not have been any interference. They should not have had Cowboy Bob Orton in there running in and hitting guys with the cast. It should have just been a clean finish in the main event of WrestleMania. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.